Hey guys, it's Adam from Loose Pixel, and I want to make this quick video to uh, elaborate on this morning's video that I posted about AI art, the one with big green don't panic on it. You can go check it out. Um, because I've received a lot of comments for obvious reasons. It's a very hot button topic, obviously. Um, but I want you to know where I'm coming from and why I made the video that I did and why I set the tone that I did. Because I have a responsibility as a teacher. I have a responsibility as a YouTuber. I have a responsibility as somebody who people trust. And the trust is something that I value more than anything in the world. Um, so you understand where I'm coming from. You know, I, I have that nick. People have given me that nickname, Art Dad, right? Although I'm not your daddy. Um, that's kind of a kind of a, a title I've been given because, well, that's a very admirable title. It means I value your opinion. I, it means I trust your opinion. It means I bring you comfort. That's what it means. At least that's how I interpret the way it means. And that's something that I that is very precious to me and something that I don't want to take for granted and squander. Why did I make the video I did this morning? Why did I compare it to when 3D came into the picture? Why am I um, talking about what could be potentially exciting about AI art versus the very many potential perils and damaging aspects of it on a professional career, art career that is? Which I'm very much aware of, it's because, for starters, I'm somebody who receives a very large number of emails from people that are emotionally distressed. Despite the fact that I make it extremely clear that I'm not a therapist and I'm not a doctor, I'm an art teacher and I'm a dad, um, a lot of these emails that I get, including one of the ones that I got this weekend was, um, uh, I'm, I know you're not a therapist, Adam, but this is what I'm emotionally struggling with, followed with um, uh, following, following a very long and very emotional explanation about how somebody was feeling completely hopeless. Now, when I see, when I, when I read that, when I hear it, when I see the comments below and see how emotionally distraught you are and see how frustrated you are about it, I have a choice at that point. I have a choice as a 47-year-old father of three YouTuber who cares a lot about your well-being. Even though we've never met in person, I know that what comes out of my mouth is trusted. I know that what comes out of my mouth is taken seriously. Otherwise, you none of you would have wouldn't have got would have gotten upset or pissed off or or worried about what I, what I was saying. But here's the thing. Why did I use that 3D, my, my experiences when 3D came into the industry and my dreams and aspirations to be a 2D animator uh, um, get kicked around? Why did I bring that up in the first place? It's because it was, a, it was an excellent example of when I had my hopes and aspirations, my lifelong ambitions pulled out from under me. I had the rug pulled out from under me. You you have to understand, from the ages of 5 to 25, I had a linear focus to be a classical animator, classical Disney animator, if, to be precise. I spent my entire life drawing, studying, drawing cartoons. I went to to college and I got a, a fine arts degree and then I went to a university and I got a classical film animation degree and then a year into that mess all of a sudden Toy Story comes out and everything went 3D and all of a sudden the craft of the human hand how, studying every like how to be able to create volumes that were consistent three-dimensional shapes that were consistent and stretch and squash and and overlapping action and follow through and and volume and and expressiveness and body language and all of this shit that I spent my entire life pursuing gone in 365 days gone no, all of a sudden there were no job postings. Nobody was looking for a classical animator anymore. Everybody wanted 3D. And for the longest time, it was a reality that, that 
my lifelong passion, my skill, these, these incredibly specific, incredibly uh, hard-worked, hard-earned skills were replaced by keyframe in-betweens done automatically. Done. And it's 3D with realistic lighting. And then, like I said before, you know, ray tracing and subsurface scattering and, and lighting and particle effects and all this shit that is just unimaginable, un unfathomable to somebody who did classical film animation. It was, it was, it was unimaginable. My career was pulled out from under me. What did I do? I did exactly what I'm telling you to do right now. I fucking adapted to it. I realized how fickle, I realized how volatile, I realized how fragile a dream can be. A linear, singularly focused dream. That's what I'm going to be. Oh yeah? Gone. Broken like a toothpick. Gone. What are you going to do now? Well, I spent about a year, year and a half, two years whining and complaining, looking for job postings that weren't showing up. And then eventually I said, Adam, you're in survival mode now because your bills aren't being paid. You're completely broke. You have no money. You got no love, no respect. Adapt. And I'm telling you right now to adapt. I'm telling you right now that whether you like it or not, AI is here. Ta-da! It's here. It's fucking here. What are you going to do about it? You're going to stand outside the, some, some courthouse with your picket signs? Hell no, we won't go. Death to the corrupted. No, you're just going to be some other bored loser standing outside a court with your stupid cardboard picket sign getting absolutely nothing done while there are multi-trillion dollar companies that are making a shit ton of money off of this tech. Just like 3D, just like every goddamn movie that's out. It's all over the place. Did 3D die? No, it's here to stay. Deal with it. It's called evolution. And like every biological organisms since the since the dawn of life on earth since the original charnia organism deep sea the first evidence of of a living fossil and how that adapted into different creatures into trilobites and then into landworms and then into different insects and animals and dinosaurs and monkeys and then us we ended up becoming bipedal we're in evolution. You're here because you evolved. You here, you're here because, because your ancestors, all of these different creatures through the last 650 million years, didn't whine and complain about it. They fucking adapted. And right now, that's exactly what's happening. Whether you like it or lump it, it's here. So Adam, the 47-year-old father of three, YouTuber who has a grand responsibility, and I take this as a parental responsibility. Like I said, I'm not your dad. I'm not your father. I'm not your parent. But I'm imagining that I'm giving this advice to my own kids. What would I tell them? Well, I have a choice, right? Some parents will say, oh, this is so unfair. You don't deserve it. That poor bully. I'm going to go to the school and I'm going to beat him up right now. I'll do that. You want me to do that? I'll go to the courthouses right now and I'll kick the shit out of every single every single programmer, every single AI developer. You want me to do that? I'm, I'm, I'm on my way. You want me to do that? It's not going to get a goddamn thing done. I can stand outside a court and pick it with everybody else and say, this is unjust and blah, 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 blah. It's not going to change a goddamn thing. This is too big. It's too huge. Okay. So what's the next thing that I can do? I can... I can lie about it. I can say, no, 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 there's no monster, sweetie. There's no, it's, it's all in your head. It's okay. It's okay. Go ahead and keep drawing pumpkin. It's all good. If you think that's what I was doing in my last video, I'm not doing that. I'm not saying that the threat does not exist. The threat exists. It's there. It exists just as much as it did back when my career was pulled out from under me. With When 3D came in and when all this different, different digital tech came in. I don't think that's going to serve any purpose whatsoever. What I'm doing is I'm, I'm teaching you how to survive. That's what my video is about. I'm already 10 steps ahead of, of the, the race because I'm sitting there thinking to myself, I know where this is going. I'm not planning myself. I'm not being reactive to what's happening now. I'm being reactive to what's going to happen in the next 10 years. And in the next 10 years, you're going to be completely 
defeated. In 10 years from now, you're going to be broke. In 10 years from now, you're going to be depressed and stressed and overwhelmed. If you live in the past. And you know what the past is? The past is all of your comments down below that are telling me that I'm not seeing the big monster. I'm not seeing, I'm a sellout to the, to the, to the, to the big corporate greed out there. No, I'm not. I'm a fucking artist just like you. I'm somebody who's, tr who's working his ass off to make a career for himself, just like you. Whether I've been doing it for 20 years or whether I've been doing it for five, this is exactly the same, exactly the same obstacle I had to deal with at the beginning of my career. And it's happening again. The only difference now is I'm wiser to where it's going and I'm emotionally preparing myself for my future, not for my past. And in my opinion, this morning is my past. So what do you do about it? Well, I know that moving forward, Whatever it is that I do, I want to have a positive relationship with it. And if that means assimilating and owning AI as an artist, as a fucking professional, owning it, taking charge of it, I'm the artist, I'm the authority on art, I'm going to show you how to use it. You want my money? I'll show you how to make money with your AI. Period. Then that's what I'm going to do. Because there's that's fuck all I can do to stop it. And there's fuck all you can do to stop it too. You can, you can call me all the names you want in the comments below. It's not going to make a goddamn difference. I'm just one YouTuber. I'm one guy. It's not going to make a damn bit of difference. I'm trying to teach you how to survive. And to survive, you have to adapt. And right now, it's time for you to, to adapt. If you were my child and you were sitting next to me and, you, and, and there was a monster in your, in your closet... I'd say, well, what do you do about it? And you go, I don't know. It's big and it's scary and it's going to eat me and it's got these terrible teeth and it makes these terrible and it's like shadowy and it keeps jumping out of my face when I'm not expecting it. Okay, so it's scary. Okay, so you're scared. I get it. All right. And um, what does it do to scare you? Well, it's trying to steal all of my things and it's trying to hurt me and it's trying to cut me and it's trying to bite me. Okay, so it hurts. So it's causing pain. Does it turn like, ow, ooh, ow, yeah, that hurts. It hurts when you get pinched. Oh, God, I hate that too. That's a terrible feeling. Okay, well, how, how do you protect yourself from the pain? I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's terrible. This is the relationship I'm having with you right now. It's, I'm trying to make you, I'm trying to, to help you open your eyes and see what's happening right in front of your face. Look at it objectively. See it. Address it. And once you can see it, once you understand what's going on, and you don't just complain about it, then you can start saying, hmm, okay, well, are you ready? Okay, well, here's the magic lantern that'll fight, that'll, that'll fight it off. Why don't you go give it a shot? I'm too scared. Go do it. And once you see that you can, once you see that there's a way out of this, you will adapt, you will get stronger, you will evolve, you'll develop tools, and you will be able to share that knowledge with other people. I'm not sitting here telling you that, that it's not here. I'm not sitting here telling you that it doesn't matter. It does matter. And it is, it's, it's a big beast and it's strong and it's going to fucking hurt you. It's going to hurt all of us. But you're a fighter. You're a creative fighter. You're an artist. And an artist is somebody who knows how to adapt. An artist who is somebody who knows how to innovate. An artist looks and says, wow, you just handed me a big pile of shit. Hmm, let's make a sculpture out of it. And you end up turning it into something beautiful. And you have, as an artist, as somebody who's creative, not only the ability to do pretty pictures, but you have the ability to create out of anything. That's the way your brain is wired. That's what makes you so awesome. That's why you never want to give up being an artist in the first place, because all, a pro, all AI is is just, it's just code but it doesn't have 650 million years of biological evolution like you do. And you will adapt to it because you always have and you always will. And you can thank your ancestors for that. And when it comes to legal battles, when it comes to fighting this in courts, when it comes to standing up for yourself and making sure that you don't get completely squashed under the foot of these corporate institutions. We have powerful, respected voices like Carla Ortiz, who's joined forces to, 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 to 
um, to deliver a class action lawsuit against AI for, for this kind of stuff. And good, we need warriors like her. And I'll stand by her side. I'll stand by all of her friends' sides. Absolutely. I will. But I'm not going to sit around and wait for, wait for the verdict. I'm going to start adapting to that situation now. I'm looking into the future. I'm reacting to the future. I'm not reacting to the comments before. And that's what I want for you. I want to look in your eyes and say, this is going to be scary. It's going to be unpredictable. It's going to jump out at you in the dark. And it's going to fucking hurt. It's going to hurt more than it's ever hurt. And it's going to make, it's going to shatter every single little sense of security you ever feel you've ever had. It's going to pull a rug from right under you. It's going to leave you feeling lost and bewildered and scared. And when that's done, you're going to look down at the world around you and you're going to say, I'm still here. Look at that. You're still alive. You're still here. And then you're going to pick yourself up. You're going to dust yourself off. And you're going to take a step. And then another one. And another one. And you're going to keep doing that until you find a new path. Maybe that path will be a creative one. Maybe fuck it. It's not worth my time. The ones who don't give up like me, will end up being the pioneers of 3D animation, will end up being the people who end up becoming art directors. How do you think you got, I got an art director job? It was because at a certain point they realized that, that 3D tech in and of itself does not make artists. And they were completely, they, were, they needed to be completely babysat by traditional artists like me. So they needed somebody who could speak traditional art, who knew the principles of animation, who knew the principles of design and understood the technology. And I was one of those few smart fuckers who learned how to animate and how to model and how to do particle effects and how to do cloth simulations in 3D. And I'm still here talking to you because of that. And I'm giving you some tough love right now. The world is changing. Am I in denial of it? No, I'm telling you to have a positive attitude about it. I'm telling you to be innovative about it. I'm telling you to start now thinking about how you can own it. How you can be a pioneer of it. Because if you do, I guarantee you in the next 10, 15 years, you're going to be in the director's seat. You're going to be in the management seat. You're going to be the one calling the shots. Or you'll be an accountant. Or shit, hey, if you want to make some money, be an AI programmer. There's a good job. <laughs> it's your choice. My choice is to continue being an artist, just like I always have. And hopefully, that's a choice you're going to be able to make yourself as well. Okay? So I want you to be, I want you to be positive. I want you to be proactive. And I want you to do what you do best. I want you to be creative about this. Okay? And to... All of you artists out there that are fighting the good fight and fighting the legal battles to protect us and to protect our rights moving forward, I love you for doing that. And you have my utmost support. I am not turning my back on you either. I am there. And I will help to lead the charge too. But I'm not. that's not all I'm going to do. I'm also going to be preparing the future of my career. And hopefully you'll be doing the same as well. All right? I love you. Take care.